congratulations, Brandon. A great victory today in a very difficult stage. Uh, it sounded like a, some, a small uh, Giro di Lombardia. Yeah, it was a uh, really tough day all day. Um, the break went and yeah, we just had to push through and then for the final climb I didn't know how I'd come back and then came back and yeah, I played my cards well and it was a really good sprint. It was something like uh, an exercise of uh, resistance and resilience, the final. Yeah, it was a definitely a day of attrition. I mean, yeah, all day up and down turns. So yeah, it was a really hard day. And then in the final was just down to the legs, I think. And then what about the, the next stages uh, next week? Uh, you will work for uh, Juan Almeida? Yeah, well, I think for sure we have to focus on the GC now. You know, we'll take a rest day tomorrow and then yeah, assess everything. Your, yeah. your first victory was a bit to not be dropped by Ben Ely in the last climb, no? <laughs> yeah, he, he was super strong. He made it really, really difficult to get this. But yeah, in the end, it's always nice to win when it's when it's against someone that's so so strong. So it was, it was a really good battle, I think. From there, you knew you were the fastest in the sprint. Hey, sorry. <laughs> From there, you knew you were the fastest in the sprint. You knew precisely how to play it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I saw the early races in the spring. You know, he got, Ben was always saying he's not the best sprinter. So in my mind, I had that. I was thinking about this, and then also it's a bit downhill. So I think my my size had an advantage as well. So yeah, I just had to had to be smart. You you, you were sick, I think, a few days ago. And I'm really sure that you you never gave up. You always believe that you could get it, and you get that victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since the TT, I was I was definitely sick, and yeah, I've been on antibiotics the last four or five days. So. It's not the best, but in the end, I was able to come and have a good day today. Brandon McNulty, your first stage win in the Grand Tour. Just how big of a milestone is this for you personally? Uh, it's huge. Yeah, I mean, that was my big goal of the year already. And then it's even more special just the way this Giro has been. It's been so hard, miserable, and, you know, sickness and everything. So it's, yeah, it's really special. Take us back to that final kilometer when uh, the Italian came back. Were you worried about the outcome? Ah, I knew he would come with speed, but I was watching, and yeah, he came just in the right moment that Ben went on his wheel, and we came in the in the draft, and then I just came, was able to punch out right at 200, 200 meters to go or so. So it was in the end, it worked out well. <laughs> Having won a mini Lombardia, does this mean that you want to make a goal in the future of the the, the real classic? Yeah, it's definitely a nice race. I've done it a few times, so it'd be nice to to do it. But that's also a different monuments are a bit different. So yeah, but maybe one day for sure. Chances are good for your leader in this uh, race. He's uh, in an excellent position, possibly to win the Giro d'Italia. Yeah, he looked good today from what I was able to see on the TV over over there. But yeah, he's he's confident and everything. So yeah, I think it'll be it'll be good. Thank you. Just, just about Lombardia. Maybe the first thing to try to get to win it is to convince that they forget to not do it. Not to <laughs> let you as a leader. <laughs> yeah, it's always of course true, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bruno. Thank, Thank you. Congrats.